So, we're back. Zion Geisler, number five. He was in my first uh, How to Play Jiu-Jitsu with Your Kids video. He is back to help us show people how to do what? What are we going to learn today? The shrimp crawl. The shrimp crawl is a really, really important movement, especially for escaping worst case scenarios on the bottom. But it can be really tricky for kids to learn at uh, when they first start, especially when they're really young. So we've come up with some little details, little things that you can uh, use to help teach your kids this very, very important movement. Once they get it down, they'll be up and down the mat of the living room, just like a little shrimp, right? Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to kind of shadow them. We want to get them uh, kind of doing what we do. So we, we tell them to kind of lay down like you're taking a nap. Can you turn to face me? Let's turn this way. Turn this way. Turn this way. Over here. Over here. Like this. Good. Now, Zion already knows how to do the shrimp crawl, but I'm using him to help me out here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay on our side just like we're taking a nap, right? We're going to put our hands here like this. We're going to lay on our side. We're going to bring our feet up really close. Now the first thing we need to get them to do is to take the weight off the hips because the first thing that a lot of kids do, they'll try to stretch themselves along the, along the floor like this instead of bending like this. So you're already doing it. <laughs> Let's come back this way. So what we want to do is have them lay on their side and you can actually help them. You kind of make sure they lay all the way on their side and then tell them to lift their hip up off the floor. Once they lift their hips up off the floor, I can come around to this side. I'll have you lay facing them. We're going to hold their foot in place, the top leg. We're going to lift their hips up. This is where the belt comes really handy. I'm going to hold the foot, lift their hips up, and pull their hips back. Then we kind of move them to the side. And then we're going to hold here, hold your foot, lift your hip, and then boom. So you move them at first so that they get the idea and their body gets used to making that movement and eventually we just kind of hold them on their side. Let's turn this way. Okay, lay down on your side, lay on your shoulder. Okay, just like you're taking a nap. Then you just hold them here and let them move. Go ahead, move your hips. Good, very good. Now, we're gonna take that to another level and we're gonna stand and we're gonna trap their hips like this. We're gonna stand up over top. Okay, I'm gonna stand here and you're gonna turn them on their side. I'm gonna put my feet right next to his hips. Now his trick, oh, you already did it, hold on. <laughs> Slow down, Turbo. All right. So we're gonna lay them on their on their on their backs, turn them on their side, and tell them to push my leg and skate their hips. Yes. Now pull your feet out. Good. Now you can kick me away. Whoa. All right. Then we make it even a little bit more difficult. And then we really challenge them. Ha ha. Now I'm in the mount. Now what? Turn to your side. Shoot your hips. Go. Boom. Pull your legs out. Whoop. Don't turn your back. You gotta do what? Now kick me away. Go. Whoa. Oh. Yes, very good. So that's sort of the trick is to kind of get them uh, moving. And like I said, the belt really, really helps. So if you have a gi to put on your child um, or for you guys that are already teaching jujitsu to kids, use that belt, it, hold their foot in place, lift the hips up, move them for them, tickle them a little bit maybe. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, give those tips a try. Let us know how they work. If you guys have any tips for us, please, uh, you know, add a video, respond in the comment sections. And, uh, yeah, like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Say bye. Bye. Thanks. You're awesome.